Hi everyone, I'm Nadia, and in today's video, I'm making resin beach phone cases. The very first thing I'm doing is marking what phone each phone case is for, that way I don't forget or get anything mixed up. And I'm doing this just by adding some tape into the inside of the phone case and writing down which phone it's for with a marker. I'll be making four phone cases, and they are all for iPhone. Next, I'm making sure that the surface where I'll be adding resin is clean, and I'm cleaning it by using a paper towel with some alcohol. I do recommend using phone cases that are very flexible and more of a plastic material. And this is just because in my experience before this, I tried making a phone case where the material wasn't as flexible and the resin actually ended up separating from the phone case. Then I made a second phone case with the same type of material that I'll be using in today's video. And as you can see, the resin doesn't separate easily when I try to bend the case. The next thing I'll be doing is protecting the phone cases by adding tape. Typically the best tape to use would be painter's tape, which is usually a blue color. But unfortunately I didn't have any of that on hand, so I'm using packaging tape. As usual, I'll add affiliate links in the description if you're interested in purchasing any of these products that you'll see in this video, so make sure to check that out. I added tape to the top of the phone cases where I didn't want the resin to go around the camera, and now I'll be adding tape around the side of the phone cases. To make sure that it's sealed in good, I'm using a heat gun to go over the tape and pressing it down. Now I'm ready to start mixing in my part A and part B resin, and I do so for a few minutes. And I separate it into smaller cups to add the pigments. I'm not using the resin that I would typically use to make coasters. Instead, I'm using the top coat that I would put on my coasters because it's heat and dent resistant, and it also cures to be more of a rubbery consistency so it's flexible and can bend. The first pigment I'm going to be adding is Depon's Alcohol Ink in the shade Intense Teal. Next, I'm using another alcohol ink by Depon, this time in the shade River Blue. I take my lighter shade of blue, which is Intense Teal, and start to pour it onto my phone cases. I carefully and very quickly go over it with my torch gun to get rid of any air bubbles. You want to make sure that you're not holding the torch gun over the phone cases for too long so that you don't burn and ruin the phone cases. Then I'm using my silicone makeup brush to spread out the resin. Now I'll be adding my darker shade of river blue right beneath my lighter shade of blue. And again, I'm using my silicone makeup brush to spread and blend. I added a few more drops of the river blue alcohol ink to make it a little more pigmented. These two phone cases on the left were giving me a little bit of a hard time because they weren't completely leveled. And because they're not leveled, all of the pigment is shifting towards one side. So I took these round pieces of cured resin that I had and tried to place it underneath the phone case in an attempt to make the surface more leveled. Again, I very quickly used the torch gun to pop any air bubbles. Again, I added more drops of the River Blue alcohol ink and poured it onto the phone cases. Now I'm going to be mixing in my white pigment for the waves, and I'm using Just Resin's Pigment Paste in the shade Titanium White. I make sure to mix it well in the container before I take a small amount onto my wooden stick and mix it into the resin. Before I add the white pigment, I'm making sure that the River Blue alcohol ink is spread evenly across this phone case that was not leveled. 
and it appears that I added maybe a little too much resin on these phone cases because some of the resin is going past the tape. On the two phone cases where I had a little bit more empty room between the resin and the tape, I added a line of clear resin by the shoreline before I added the white pigment. Then with the wooden stick, I carefully applied the white pigment by the shoreline. And I used a heat gun to blow out the waves. I moved on to do the last two phone cases, but because the resin went over the tape, I didn't add more clear resin. Instead, I went straight to adding the white pigmented resin. And again, I blew out the waves with the heat gun. I wasn't entirely happy with how the waves turned out on my first two phone cases, so I decided to try once more. Then I decided to do the same on the last two phone cases as well. This was my first attempt at making resin beach phone cases, so the next time I try, I'll definitely leave more empty space between the resin and the tape. I wiped off some of the excess resin from the first phone case that was going past the tape with a paper towel but I'll be doing more touch-ups once I remove the tape. About a day later, I came back to take the tape off. For any touch-ups that I needed to do, I used an X-Acto knife to carve off the resin and it was mainly for this phone case that had some ridges on the side. I lightly sanded the edges so that the resin near the edges was more leveled with the phone case and not protruding. Now I'm going to be doing some final touches because when the resin went over the tape and I removed the tape, it removed a lot of the shoreline, so I'm mixing up my white pigment again to fix that up. After I mixed in my white pigment, I carefully applied it along the shoreline with my silicone makeup brush. And here's the final product. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you liked this video, subscribe to see more videos like this in the future. Follow me on my Instagram, Summer Girl Designs, and my mom's Instagram, Wild Heart Resin Art.